Hello all. Today we are going to see how to connect the Expert Automatics Water Level Controller to the single phase 1 HP MCB type starter motor. In the Expert Automatics Water Level Controller, you will have terminals for input, output, and uh, some common and tank. In the input and the output terminals, you have to connect your phase and neutral. So, in the input, you can see the P and N junctions. So, in the P, you have to connect your phase and N for neutral. Similarly, in the N, you have to connect your neutral output, and in the P, you have to connect your phase output. First, let me connect a phase neutral to my controller. So I have given phase neutral to my controller. So now uh, from the output terminal of the controller, I have to give a phase and neutral to the panel box phase and neutral. As I said before, uh, the first terminal here is neutral here. So I am taking a wire to connect neutral wire to the controller. In the MCB type status, you will have terminals for phase and neutral. If you uh, look at properly, you can see uh, phase neutral. RYB so this RYB will go for motor so I'm giving a neutral wire to this so next for phase I have taken wire and from the output terminal phase of my control box I am taking a wire to the uh, panel box phase input So that's it with the connections. Next you can connect the RYB to the wires uh, going RYB to the motor and then leave the MCB in turned on position. Now let's see how to connect the controller with the float. I have taken a float and a dry run sensor for this. In the float sensor you will have three wires red black and blue so for the tank uh, float you can use the wires red and black so uh, in this red is common and black is output so you have to connect the red to the c terminal which is common terminal and black to the t terminal which is tank terminal i'm connecting the red to the common terminal next you have to connect the black wire to the t terminal of the controller So next is dry run sensor. In this dry run sensor, you will have two terminals. One wire should be given to the common and the another wire should be given to the S terminal of the controller box. For that, you can see the terminals uh, S in the controller and C, uh, C is common, which we have saw already. You can give the yellow wire with the red, which is already given in the common. So next you have to connect the other terminal to the S terminal of the controller box. So that's it with this connection. So let's see it's working. So let me power on the circuit. So once I power on the circuit, you can see the power on LED in my circuit glowing. So indicating the power is turned on. So next you will have four LEDs in the controller box, one for uh, power indications, two for motor turned on indication, three for tank full indication and fourth with the dry run indication. So first let me put my controller in the manual mode. In the manual mode you can see the motor is turned on, the indication is in the controller and also in the panel box of the motor. So I'm turning off it, so it is turned off in the both side. So once again I'm turning off it, so you can see the indication on the both side. So now let's see the functionalities of auto mode. So for that I'm turning off the controller and uh, putting it in auto mode. In auto mode, since the uh, sensor is in low, so the buzzer glow blows for 5 seconds and it turns on the motor. Once the tanks get fulled, uh, the motor automatically turns off and the LED is turned off on both sides.
and once the tank get empty uh, the motor will be turned on after the buzzer for 5 seconds and once again when the tank get filled uh, the tank full LED will glow and the motor will be turned off automatically now let's see the working of dry run sensor so once the tank get empty the motor will be turned on after the buzzer for 5 seconds in the same state uh, when the motor is turned on but you don't get any connectivity in the uh, dry run sensor which is the connectivity is nothing but the water flow in the uh, water inlet pipe from uh, in the tank so where we have fixed our dry run sensor so in the right side image you can see that the there is no water flow in the sensor which is the inlet pipe of the motor if this continues till 50 seconds there is no water in this uh, sump so that the motor will be turned off automatically After 50 seconds, you can see that the dry run LED is glowing here and the motor is turned off automatically, indicating that the motor is turned off due to dry run. So if you have to turn on the motor once again, you have to put the motor in the off mode and then you should turn on back to the auto mode. So now when if I need a connectivity, so I am connecting the sensor using a tester to connect the two joints. So the connectivity in the sensor is nothing but the water flow in the inlet pipe. So in the right side image you can see that the motor is turned on and the water is uh, flowing through the inlet pipe to the motor. So if in this state you will have the connectivity between these two uh, the sensor points so that your motor will be not turning off due to dry run sensor and this will run without any intervention. So now the motor doesn't turn off due to dry run since I have given the connectivity here. So now let us check the connections by removing the connectivity now. So once the connectivity is removed which means the water this doesn't flow through the inlet pipe. Uh, the dry run timer will start running so uh, once the dry run timer reaches 50 seconds the motor will be automatically turned off Now you can see that the dry run LED glows so, and the motor is turned off due to dry run. So you have to place this dry run sensor in the motor's uh, inlet pipe to the tank. So I have given an example image where you have to place your dry run sensor. So that's it with the connections, thank you.